Hello, and welcome everyone to this video on working with complex types in SAP OData by Zarantech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarantech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of complex types in OData. So mostly the complex types in the comes in the picture based on the UI developer needs. That is, if you want to include a, a structure within a structure, then in that scenario, suppose you want to include a particular work area or you want to include an entity within this within another entity, then in that scenario, what will it will happen? That it will require the use of complex types in auditor services. So a complex type is a structure type within a key, without a key. That means you, there is no need of any key in case of complex types. And your complex type, the structure will be without a key. So complex types are keyless named structure types consisting of a set of properties. And its properties can be any kind of fields that you'll be choosing here. Then the complex types are commonly used for property values in an entity or as parameters to operations. In case of complex types, there is no special methods you will get to which will be defined for your requirement. I uh, we simply implement the get entity or get entity set methods here in case of our complex type. Let's see how we will be implementing it. So suppose we have got this kind of requirement and uh, here we can see we have got uh, uh, three row, columns, three rows here. Then the fourth row is an array itself which consists of two rows in itself. Then the, we have got another row and it again consisting of two fields in it. So if you will be implementing it in OData services, what you will do here, you will get, have your entity types out of which the first three fields will be the same as that of the requirement. Then the second, then the fourth one, which is the array one, you will implement it as a complex type. And the fifth one will be again a complex type and it will have some value which we can see here. Also, if you are using some nested arrays, then you will use here complex within a complex, then the complex will be as a field in the entity as well. So how do we get the return the output here? So in simple way, you will use the get entity set or get entity. And if in case of get entity set, we have a parameter ET entity set which returns the output. And in case of get entity, we have a parameter ER underscore entity which will be used to return your parameters. So let's implement it so that we can understand this concept to so simply go to SCGW transaction code and you are required to create a OData project. Since I've already created my project, so I'm going to see, I'm going to explain you. Oh yeah, this one. See what I've done here. Uh, I have taken a requirement and my requirement is to create a entity for PO details. And in that PO details, I have used the complex type for vendor and for purchase organization, all right? So what I've done here, I've first created a entity type. So in simple way, you'll be creating your entity types and see the first three fields, EVL and BUKRS, BSTYP, these are the simple three fields which I have imported from the EKKO, out of which my primary key is EVLN. See, we can see the levels and then what I've done here, you simply will be clicking on this data model. Let me open this in change mode first. Okay. You'll simply, and you are required to right click on the data model, create and complex type. So you will use it to create your complex type I have created purchase organization and a vendor. Both I have created here. And if you go to its properties, I have given two fields, organization number and organization name. Organization number, you've got the other field at EKORG. And for organization name, I have given E name. 
in case of vendor you see we have got vendor number and vendor name and then what i have done i simply use these two complex type in our entity type as well i have used them, them as a property here and in simply in, in this complex type column i have mentioned their details so this is how you will be creating your complex type. Now let's go to the implementation part. So we will go to the DPC extension class. One more thing. So whatever the entity you will be creating here, you will get your default structure and work area being created into the MPC extension class. If you go to the this MPC class, just go inside it and go to this type. See, we have got a TSPO details and TTPO details as work area and internal table. So this will also be present in your extension class as well. You can simply use it. Also, we have got our vendor and uh, see we have got our vendor and purchase organization as well. Next, what we have to do, we will go to the DPC extension class. Go to the DPC extension class. And in this method, inherited method, you will see your get entity and get entity set method. Since I've already redefined it, so you will need to redefine it, then see what we have done here. In this class, we have got our PO details, internal table, and work area. So I have simply used this MPC extension class and called the value of this structure to create a work area for PO details, vendor, and organization as well. Then I have initialized the three fields of my PO details as with some values. Then I have used the vendor and initialized those two values here. After that, I want to see what I'm doing here. I'm simply passing this vendor work area into the, the vendor field of my PO details. Since I've taken this vendor as a property in my entity type. Then the same thing I have done with the purchase organization as well. I have given the value for these two fields and then I have passed this organization into this PO details. And at last I have appended this PO details into a set which will be returning me my exact data from the front end application. Then I have implemented the get entity. All things are the same the we are which we are doing here. At, and at last, I have simply passed the work area into ER entity because ER entity is like a, a work area in itself, which can only record a single record at the runtime. So this is about our implementation part for my complex type. Uh, then what you have to do is you'll go to this service maintenance folder, open this file, you'll click on this register button to register your OData gateway so that we can test our OData services. Since my registration has been already done, we can see our, our registration status is green. Then you'll click on this gateway client and click on OK to navigate to the gateway client. Now click on this execute button. Simply select the ET entity set. It will call your get entity set method. Now see what is happening here. Uh, we are getting get entity set. I will open it in JSON format so that we can understand it more clearly. Now see, first one we have got the vendor. And in this vendor, we have got the two records which we have passed. Then we've got the purchase organization and their value here. And the rest of the three fields of my PO details, which I am getting in. So this is how we'll be implementing it. And you can use the concept of the complex type. Next, uh, what I can do here is uh, I can call the value I can give call my get entity method by giving the value of my purchase document number which is EVL. So EVLN is equal to one two three. It will call my get entity method. I'll click on this execute button and see I'm getting the status as two hundred.
Now we are required to add URI option here. So I'm selecting the JSON format and I click on this execute button. Now see what is happening. We are getting again the same data and our get entity method is being called. So what is our understanding from this video? That we can use the multiple entity types within a single entity by using the concept of complex types in our OData services. Complex types are very crucial for us since uh, there is a chance that you might have to use them for fetching multiple related data. So this is how you will be using the concept of your complex types in OData services. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.